That's a lot of pain and suffering. Yeah, so Tell me about that experience. Because, yeah. It hurts everything. It's not just my back. It, the back is connected to everything. Mabel should be suing so, her. So, yes, <laughs> Mr. Florence, do you really mean that? Mabel is the victim of this case. We're the victims. Yeah. Please we, tell me how Mabel oh, is okay. the victim. Well, first off, Your Honor, <laughs> before we gave specific instructions I got, about when we go see the llama, do not come close, no loud noises, no fast, jerky movements. Oh, and and mm -hmm. did y'all know that this kind of stuff agitates Mabel? Yes. yes. Well, that's absolutely. how llamas are, Your Honor. You, you, <laughs> you treat them with respect and you walk slowly toward them. Here, here's the problem, Your Honor. Even though they're stating that they, they gave clear instructions, no, they did not. They said, don't come near the llama. You know, don't. And then she bums rush the llama, Your Honor. I, she, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Mr. Florence, tell me this. Distance is obviously important, right? right? Exactly. But what, you what, what, hold on. Social. What made you think that she was too close? Well, well, we saw her picture on social media. Look how close Look, that, oh, that is. Hold on. That is Film. not, is that that is is not that, even is two feet, feet away. Folks, Sorry, please, order in this court. Yes, sir. I got to hear from both of you to get to the truth. Tell me a little bit about Mabel. Well, Give her some flavor so well, I, I can get close to her. Well, it. Your Honor, when she was born, she we didn't think she was going to make it. The vet said she probably wasn't going to make it. And um, so Mabel is is our, our miracle llama. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we had to hand feed her and, and <laughs> sure. we raised her. And there's times where... She sounds like she's kind of your baby. Oh, she, she is. is. <laughs> okay. Llamas are a little bit like dogs, Your Honor. So they're very <laughs> um, personal. They have their own personality. That's a big dog. How, how big are these llamas when they're full grown? How big are they? They can get pretty big. As big as a, as a full grown man. Okay, that's that's pretty big dog <laughs> if you compare them to dogs. Your Honor, may, may I interject? Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, looks are very deceiving when it comes to that llama because it looks sweet on the film. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and there's a couple of things. Um, there's pins that are shown on the on the, the film right there. Yes, ma'am. They were not there during the party. We were told that there was going to be like a petting zoo. There were going to be animals that were available to be uh, taken pictures with, come close to. So uh, you expected correct. that your son correct. and you would have the joy of petting well, Mabel. Correct. Okay. And, and also that it's common sense when you have young children around wild animals um, that you have no, safety signs or safety precautions somewhere around. That is not a sweet animal. We went expecting to be able to go up, take pictures, maybe even pet the llamas. You know, that's what the invitation, you know, that's what all the kids were talking about. My son was excited to do that. Well, it just says llamas. I don't know where she got the idea that we were running a petting zoo, that we were just going to have animals around yeah, to but touch. But you, you all expected that people would want to touch Mabel, right? They right. what? They I mean, she honor. is beautiful, right? Yes, she is. It's my understanding that y'all brought Mabel. We yes, did. Sir. Yes, Your Honor. Now, if she spits on me, we got a problem. You know that. I don't think we need to worry about now, it. Now, you all brought your, your cousin, I guess, is the llama handler? Yes, yes sir. So, Sheriff Matt... I need you to go get Mabel yes, and sir. bring Mr. Florence in. God.